Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on with the show. So please give a big, warm Liverpool welcome into the red corner, fighting out of Majestic Juma, Gavin Rogerson. So here we go for bout number nine of the evening. Kevin Coming into the red Rogerson. corner. We've got Gavin Rogerson from the Majestic Gym and in Wigan. He's raised the roof for his opponent. Trained by the one and only Kevin Harper. Fighting out of the legendary and in the corner. Kirby Tyre, Danny Ledbitter. And coming into the blue corner, we've got Danny Ledbetter from Kirby Tye, right here in Liverpool. This is a B-class contest, matched at 78 kilos. This adult professional B-class Muay Thai bout is scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the 78 kilogram division. Over to your referee. I'm sat here ringside. My name is Sandy Holt from Sunny Bolton by the Sea with Mr. Richard Cadden from Chock D. And that is the Chock D Academy in York. Anyway, this is a B class fight featuring Gavin Rogerson. Rogerson from the Majestic Gym in the red corner featuring Danny Ledbetter from. Mark Wilson and Steve Cullen, Sassy Parappa, Kirby Tai. This is, I said, B class, five two minute rounds. That means knees are a load to the head. Just seen the Ram Moy. So here we go. Round one. Round one of a schedule five. And Chock D to these two fighters. Chock D being the gloves that they're wearing, sponsored from Chock D in Thailand, brought over here by yours truly. And if you're interested in that's a bit of equipment, you can get onto uh, www.thaiboxing-shop.co.uk. That's www.thaiboxing-shop.co.uk. Enough of the plugs and the advertisements, let's talk about the action. Monster Muay Thai, absolutely fabulous shorts here, worn brought by the sponsors. And Alex Foreman from Mazda, who's put it, I keep saying this, an absolutely outstanding show on. I'm privileged to be sat here ringside commentating with Mr. Richard Cadham. Speaking of Chalk D, Chalk D, which is the camp where Richard's from, runs in York. And myself, okay, sat here, privileged to be ringside. This is B class, Richard. And we've just started off in the first few seconds. Two guys here made 78 kilograms at the weigh in yesterday, Gavin Rogerson. Majestic beautiful, hit. beautiful left hook to the body. Oh, solid knee. Yeah, good body kick too. Well, occasionally fighters move around. Um, I'm not just moving around the ring like uh, Gavin is doing here. He's impressing and stamp his authority on this first round. But uh, Gavin, formerly of Wigan Thai Boxing Club, trained with Craig Brown, former instructor of mine. He's moved to gyms now to the Majestic. Um, I mean, spent and he's probably had. I don't know how many fights he's had, probably about 15 fights down at Wigan. I don't know if this is this, do you know whether this is his first outing under Majestic or? I think it is, yeah. I mean, it, I know he had a, a long time out because he had some uh, he had some serious injuries on his uh, left knee and left foot when he was uh, out in Thailand. I think he actually broke his foot and he got cellulitis in his foot. No oh dear. So he so was in a bad way for a long time, but he certainly got a full bill of health back. And it's great to see. Well, there you go, well. Good start to round one. To me, very, very strong and imposing round. Um, I mean, obviously, early doors, we know this, we've seen from previous contests. But it, to me, impressing himself and impressing me um, was that man there, Gavin Rogerson, uh, against the Sassy Parappa gym from Liverpool here with uh, Mark Wilson and Steve Cullen representing the blue corner. And in the red corner there, we've got the Majestic team. And that's his brother also in the, in the corner there. Stephen Rogerson, I think, who trains out of, uh, I think he's still with Phoenix under Ricky, Ricky there, in uh, Presswich, Rick Lewis. Okay. 
seconds out. Round two. And here we go for round two. Gav straight back on the front foot. Keeping the pressure on. Danny Ledbetter just lifting up that lead leg. Some nice fluid technique there by Danny. And you talk about legs, I've always said this about Gavin. He's got, one of his legs is about three of mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's always been what we are. He's very stockily built like a bulldog, isn't he? His thighs are humongous. It's yeah. Like, it's not like rugby rugby, rugby legs, hasn't he? You know, <laughs> yeah. And, and I'll tell you, it not like a kick off them, that's for sure. <laughs> it, it, look, it looks like a, looks like an English version of Rotung. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember Rotung, the, the fighter? Yeah. AKA the tank. The tank, yeah. I think that's what he should. That, I'm not sure if actually he gets called that. <laughs> Gavin uh, the Tank Rogers, and there you go. Heard it here first off, uh, Mr. Richard Cadden. Well, if you actually look at the size difference on the two, on the legs of Danny and them, you don't think these two are in the same weight, but like I said, it's uh, a lot of his weight coming off his legs, for sure. Monster, it should be called monsterlegs.com. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. Talking about your legs, man, not the fight. You're doing a good job here, and this. Danny's taking up, soaking a bit of punishment from those legs too, and some heavy hands coming to good body hook what he threw just before there. Yeah, that that left hook to the body and that solid Again. solid right seems to be part of the game plan. Yes. Dragging those hands down. He's popping one down to the body and then throwing straight one straight down the pipe. Straight right hand. Yeah, seems to be the tactics for the moment. And some good knee work there, lifting the knees up. Yeah. Pointing that knee really yeah. sharp. Yeah. Three. Four knees to the one back from Danny. And again, once again, our great referee for this evening, Nash Kaswala, straight in there. So two rounds in the bag, and um, I'm just again edging the red corner. Um, possibly even give that a 10-9 to red, possibly. It's definitely, it's certainly in with the star. Yeah, he's, he's, he's certainly, certainly getting some good effect in, in his shots. And... Uh, making Danny take that step backwards. I remember uh, training, with, training with Gavin over at Jitter Gym over in Thailand, um, probably about five, six years ago now. He's, he's got, a, got a great work ethic now. Um, <laughs> he, he used to, used to be uh, a, bit, a bit of a lad. Never, never used to like his dieting. He used to stop, stop off for a, a, qu a quick little snack on his oh morning dear. runs. Well, then what, I, what I'm about to say, then I don't think he'll, he'll shoot me for because he's got. He, I mean, he is a good sport, Gavin. Same I mean, he has a right banter on Facebook and stuff. Oh, he's and another, 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 one of his spa, his verbal, and I won't even say who it is. Mention no names, whatever. <laughs> Daz Morris. Um, won't mention no names whatsoever. Daz Morris. Okay, but him and um, and Round Gavin having a three. laugh on Facebook, and he calls him Gavin Podgerson oh. because of his eating habits. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gav, I didn't say it. Well, well, but I tell you what, it doesn't it, stop him from. from I, I tell you what, certainly he might be putting some food well. away, but he can certainly put some of his opponents away too. Because Gavin's been in some right wars and he's absolutely been in some real good technical fights, which he's won. And you know, hats off to him. Yeah, it's great. Gav's got some great movement, some good balance here, lifting up his techniques perfectly. It's some great technique been shown. And the, this is what it comes back to, as we were saying before. This isn't an aesthetics game. It's an effect game. It's not about how you look. It's about how you perform. And if this is uh, this is how Gav performs, then this is how he performs, regardless of how he feels himself. Yeah. So he's, he's doing the business. That's what it's all about. Well, that's what happens when that bell goes. You know, when you go, you know, as soon as you get in between these four ropes, that's as you said, is where it counts. Nothing else matters. Once that bell goes, it's all about okay. It, you know, that's it. You know, the stopwatch hits the hits the button and off they go. Some some good uh, good combination there by Danny using the jab hook and lo right low kick, but that, then Gav retaining it, retaining his position really well and keeping his balance. Yeah, he's not he's not phased at all, is he, Danny? Even though, like I said, considering I mean I don't know what Danny's record is. I mean I, I have watched Danny fight I think twice. Now I've watched Gavin fight over fight over a dozen times. Now I'm not saying he's had 12 and he's had two. I'm saying that I've only watched Danny fight compete twice. Um, Gavin, like I said, I've watched a lot of his career. 
And I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know, I might be wrong, but I do feel that Gavin's probably the two, more experienced of the two, and he's tapping into that very nicely. Nice catch of the leg and returning with a low kick from Danny there. Nice bit. Well, again, it comes back to the balance. Comes back to the balance, comes back to the footwork and maintaining position. Well, the first round I had it 10 10 with a red mark for like, the stars, they call it. And it's the judges' star. What that means is basically you've got your eye on them, just like Richard did earlier on with one of the fights. Um, which to me got how oh, he got it, he got the right score on that one, and I give it a draw. And then Richard saw it, saw something, give it that little star, and it, it paid off in later rounds. Um, now, 10 10 with a star first round, uh, 10 9. I'm gonna start a little bit bold perhaps on my judging there, uh, for round two. Round three, now do you know what? Blue corner came back a little bit there. Um, I'm tempted to go back with a 10 10. Um, because it started to come back into it and it wasn't as as big of an effect as round two was. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. Thank with that. you. Um, like I said, I mean, I'm, you know, out. I don't profess to be, a, I do do judging. I don't do a lot of it. I mean, I jack of all, I think, the master of none, is that the same? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I promote, I fought, round I teach, four. I'm a full time gym, I judge, commentate, MC, and promote. And God <laughs> knows what else that we do, Richard. Oh, there and we go. That's a, that's a but, good um, take down there. It was a good take down. Like I said, I just felt that I thought the way it was looking at the start. Oh, nice return, though, from Gavin. Um, Gav's trying to show him how it's done. Yeah. But I, 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 at first, I thought as the rounds were starting unfolding, I thought that uh, Gavin was sort of stepping up and up. But Danny's managed to just pull back in that third a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's taking he's the fight to him now, isn't he, in this yeah, fourth round? He's matched round. it really well. I mean, the Stasi Parappa guys will know that fourth rounds, you know, the third and fourth play a big part. And you now you can just hear there Steve Cullen and Mark saying, Danny, you've got him, he's tired. There's obviously a lot of psychology going with them um, from the corners to the fighters. It's all very, very important. And part and parcel of Muay Thai. Yeah, the, the, the majestic gym there. We've got Steve Donnelly in the corner. Steve, Steve's been fighting for years. Uh, I just met, sorry to interrupt you there. I just missed it. I just, I just noticed there. I looked at the corner. We've got two of the fighters, well, three fighters in the corner. Steve Donnelly now is helping training at Majestic. The former champion himself, Steve. Been around years, originally from Pelly's. He, um, sorry, we're missing Kevin Harper, aren't we? So I've just managed to stop Gavin Podgerson with one hand <laughs> as he came flying through the ring. Gavin, you're not Podgy. Take it back. Very Love you, man. Deft on his feet. One hand stayed on the microphone, one hand stopping Gavin from sliding out and taking me and Richard out, back into the action. Some nice right knees there by Gav Rogerson. So it's interesting how this fourth round's turned out. Yeah, that the Kirby Ty corner screaming, screaming at Danny to keep the pressure on. He thinks that Gavin may be folding under this pressure. Well, do you know what? I'm going to let you score the fourth round, Richard. I'm going to hand you my, I'm going to hand you my pen. Hold on, I've just took it back again. That's how I got mine. Um, fourth round, Richard. Go on, give us a, a little analysis and give me a little step-by-step -step how you would score that, sir. Yeah, there was, uh, there was some clean shots thrown by Gav right at the start of the round. There was the big uh, throw and push down by, by Danny. Uh, when he when he left uh, Gav sliding across the ring, but then then Gav came back with some great clinch work, scoring with a couple of knees across the back. That's a really big score, so I'm going to give it the edge back to back to Gav. Second. So it's pretty close on paper. All to fight for in this fifth and I think final so. round. I do believe final that. Round. We've got this pretty much very close between us. And a great handshake and a hug from two Muay Thai fighters and athletes here. Because that's what Muay Thai fighters are to me. They're athletes. Absolute out and out athletes. Now this is B-class, we've not actually seen any knees to the head yet, but uh, both fighters have been quite content to pummel away at the body, which obviously is a very effective area. 
great boxing yeah, there by good Gav. Boxing, but, but, yeah, good boxing and good boxing on both guys, but Gavin coming out the better there with the knees. And Danny turning his back, which, which would serve badly against him. Danny getting those little swing knees in up, up to up to Gav's legs. Not really lifting to the body. There's one to the body. Some good work in the clinch here. Yeah, I'd like to see those knees going into the body because they don't score too much to the legs, Richard, do they? It's, you know, I know they're no. sort of doing a little play, they're playing the part, but you know, if it had brought them to the to the body, then he, he would score higher. Definitely. Oh, good knee. That's a big good score knee. by Gav. Well, lots of animation coming from the two. Local guys, Steve Cullen, Mark Wilson, two good friends of ours. I like them guys. Second fight is everywhere. My show last week, they're out and out, like a lot of the trainers these days, okay? They're not frightened to take the fighters here, there and everywhere. But it's Gavin now that seems to be forging strongly in the clinch, Richard, and seems to be impressing Certainly is. the judges, I feel. That I think that if there was any doubts between rounds three and four, I think round five may have secured it uh, for Gavin. It, but it was a and you know what? Great, great performance. Good performance, as you said. Daniel Embesser definitely in the fight all the way through. Gavin had me worried in a few moments in that fight, but to me, I don't know. I think the fifth round just sort of, I think, will give the judges that little bit of the uh, which way the pen will slide. And I think it will slide in the red forever. Yeah. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the judges' scorecards, please show your appreciation to both fighters. <laughs> After an immense five rounds of B class action, the judges have reached a majority decision. Majority, Ladies there you go again. There's been lots of these tonight, Richard. Majority decision. In the blue corner. Wow. Now then. Daddy now then, now then, now then. Lightbitter. Now mixed reviews from the crowd. Gavin looking very, very, very confused. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise the roof for our runner-up, Gavin Rogerson. Looking very unconfused with that decision. Um... Yeah, I personally was giving it to Gav. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I thought he just got it in the fifth round, to be honest. Yeah, I, same I, here. Yeah. Same um, here. Perplexed. Where yeah. yeah, the word there is perplexed. Perplexed, that's a good word. Good word. Perplexed. 